Hello again everyone, I've written this article on Medium, I hope you enjoy this narrative. I thank you for your support. Link to the article is at the description of this video. How a simple soup can put a smile on a 93-year-old lady? Recently, I had the heartfelt opportunity to visit my husband's aunt, the last surviving sibling of his father. At 93 years old, she lives alone, relying on an oxygen machine to help with her breathing. Despite her challenges, her spirit remained vibrant, and our visit was a chance to bring a little joy into her life. During our time together, I learned she enjoyed cooking and often reminisced about family gatherings filled with laughter and good food. This sparked an idea, why not bring her homemade vegetable soup the next time we visit? After a holiday from Spain, I suggested visiting the lady and asking my husband if she would like something to eat. She just wanted a soup. My husband offered to buy her something from a restaurant, but I was determined to create something with my hands. I rushed to the kitchen, scavenging through the fridge for ingredients. It was a last-minute decision, but it felt right. I chopped garlic and onions, sautéing them in olive oil until they turned golden and fragrant. Next, I added a medley of vegetables, tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, aging mushrooms, vibrant carrots, leeks, and sweet bell peppers. As the aroma filled the kitchen, I felt a sense of purpose and joy in crafting this nutritious dish. Husband. In 25 minutes we are living. Me. Da. I am cooking. I knew, alright? Once blended, the soup transformed into a creamy, comforting delight. Adding very fine chopped spring onions and cilantro, just a teaspoonful. I carefully packed the soup into a pot, bringing along a bottle of pumpkin seed oil, and set off to her home with the pot in hand, ready to serve her my creation. When she tasted it, her eyes lit up, and I knew that this simple soup had struck a chord with her. Though my German was limited, her smile and the way she savored each spoonful spoke volumes. There were more in the pot and she suggested placing the remaining soup into a smaller container. So my husband and I did and placed it in the fridge. As a token of her gratitude, she gifted me a box of chocolates, a sweet gesture that melted my heart. Upon returning home, my brother-in-law shared that Auntie was thrilled with the soup, claiming it was delicious and comforting. To my surprise, the story of my soup spread like wildfire throughout the family, reaching even relatives in Lucerne and Tyrol. At our next family gathering, I became the talk of the town, everyone wanted to know if they could have a bowl of my magical soup. What began as a simple idea turned into a beautiful reminder of how food can bridge generations and bring smiles, especially to those who may need it most. It was not just about the soup, it was about connection, love, and the joy of giving. The experience taught me that sometimes, it's the simplest acts of kindness that can leave a lasting impact. So here's to soup, the warm hug in a bowl that has the power to brighten the day of a 93-year-old lady and make her family smile. If anyone ever asks for a bowl, you can bet I'll be ready with my magic hands, continuing to spread joy, one soup at a time.